Welcome back guys, this is Mark with the Syndicate bringing you another tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to install the Epoch mod for Arma 3. Now currently it's still in uh, closed alpha, so it's not a public release. So if you're some of the lucky few to be able to get your hands on a key, well I'm going to go ahead and help you uh, get everything set up so you can get hopped on the server and start enjoying this amazing, amazing mod. They spent a lot of time, put a lot of effort into getting this thing released and they've done an excellent job. Now, again, obviously the first thing you need is you do need a key. And what you're going to want to do is, uh, if you do have that key handy, you probably have a, an Epoch Mod uh, address here, which is going to be epochmod.com forward slash whitelister.php in order to get whitelisted. That's going to be the first step. So go ahead and navigate uh, your browser, point it over there, and go ahead and punch in your whitelist key right here in the box. Now the first thing you want to do is click on Redeem Key. And the next thing you're going to do is prompt you to enter in your Steam username as well as password. This is how they're going to validate your player ID to prevent people from hacking, prevent people that are unauthorized from playing uh, the mod in its current state. So go ahead and click on the green Steam button and enter in your username and password. Alrighty, click on sign in. And this is 100% uh, normal. What it's going to do is it's going to prompt you, since Steam does have uh, their own security implemented, it's going to send you, uh, email you, a code to enter here in this box. It's five to six digits. Uh, so check your email for that. And then also give this uh, this browser a name. It has to be at least six digits. So make sure that uh, it's at least six characters long, and it can be anything you want. So just enter that enter your code here and then click submit. The next step is going to give you an option of choosing either a male or female character and again choose wisely because once you choose it you cannot change that at least for this uh, current state. <coughs> and the, the next step is it's going to confirm that you have been whitelisted and at that point you're going to want to go ahead and point your browser over to download the files at the URL, URL that I will provide in the description. Um, first thing you're going to need is BitTorrent Sync. Now, they've elected to use this program because it allows the developers to push out the latest updates to the mod without having to constantly notify everyone to update the latest version. So, you're going to want to install that first by clicking Install Sync 1.4. It's going to have a pop-up here that says, Once Sync is installed, return to this page to get the folder. Now, it's a very small download. It's not that big. It's only 2.5 megabytes. So, go ahead and get that installed. And once you're done, point your browser right back here. Go ahead and click on Get the Folder. Now, I'm going to prompt you on where you want to save it. Save it wherever you like once you have that installed. And choose, again, wherever you like. Save it. And it's 830 megabytes. Go ahead and click Connect. And it's going to pop up and look just like this. Now, my file is already downloaded, so I'm just sending, which is more commonly known as seeding, um, since it's a torrent file. Um, but yours isn't uh, necessarily going to have receiving just yet, and that's our goal. So what you're going to want to do, that's very, very important, is click on these three buttons right here. And go over to Preferences. Now make sure all the boxes are checked, but in particular the Search DHT Network. Um, so again, make sure all the boxes are checked, but leave Use Predefined Host and Store Deleted Files in Folder Archive. You can leave these two unchecked. So leave it just like this. Go ahead and close that out. And you should see it within about five minutes or so. Uh, you'll see it uh, saying receiving. And again, it takes about 30 minutes to an hour, depending on your internet connection. Uh, the files will be downloaded into the directory that you've uh, chosen previously. Once you get the files completely downloaded, what you're going to want to do is, uh, once it's in ascending state, click on the button again. Uh, you can go to open archive, or if you know where your files are at. That's awesome. So pull up your files here. And you'll see that you're going to have an at epoch folder. Now go ahead and copy this folder, Control C, and go over to the drive where you have your Steam installed. Uh, mine is going to be here in my D drive, Program Files. Go over, navigate to Steam, followed by Steam Apps, then Common, lastly Arma 3. Now you're going to see, uh, you may, if you have other mods installed, for example, at Breaking Point, it's already here. All you have to do is just simply paste it in anywhere in this folder. Control V. There we go. 
861 megabytes is what the file size should be. Take just a second here and it'll pop up here for us. All right, perfect, there we go. So we got the file fully installed. Now the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do, now that you have the files downloaded, you've been whitelisted, is you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and open Arma 3. Let's go ahead and get that up. There we go. <clears throat> In your Arma 3, uh, go over to Configure, Expansions, and now you're going to see there's an Epoch mod here. Now, if you have other mods in here, make sure they are not checked and they are not currently active. But go over to Epoch mod and enable that. If you have other mods that are enabled, go ahead and click on them and make sure they are disabled. Once that's done, it's going to prompt you to restart. Click OK. You need to restart the game to apply some of the changes made. Go ahead and click on Restart now. All right, there we go. You will notice there's a slightly different uh, main menu with the uh, Arma 3 Epoch and activated. Now you just want to make sure again go back to configure and expansion. Make sure Epoch mod is highlighted. But other than that, there you go. 